Okay, I've removed the, the crystal filters. Now the board they're on. So that's the crystal filter board there that you saw in a minute ago. And there's the pins. Okay, so that's um how many is that? Focus. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it seven? Seven on that side and three on that side. It's uh, nearly quarter past three in the morning, so there's not very much light in here, but I've got a light on above me. There's, there's no daylight, so just make do with the light I've got. So it more or less remove this, which I've now did. Remove that, put it to, put it to side, and you should see a diode uh, right below where it's at. Uh, diode 99. You can just see that because I've already I've already snipped this diode and I've got it touching together again. It's in there. Amongst the cables, uh, I could just get the, uh, the tweezers because it's very small, and I'll point to this diode because I'm going to pull it apart again. And it's there. Here's the tweezers there. Yeah. That's your diode number nine there. Number ninety-nine. Diode nine nine. So if I can just move this. You'll see it there it's in there. Oops. Okay, now this guy says on his uh, post that he made for the modification of the FT747 that if you break this diode out of circuit, you can use the, the drive control um, to vary the power on a single sideband. Can you see that in there? These cables are in my road. I'm holding this camera. So I'll just break out a circuit again. Can you see that in there? That's diode 99. The tweezers are on it just now. God, it's awkward. There it's there. That's diode 99. Now he says that if you 